Darcy's new boyfriend Georgie is still married. Guys, what is up? How the heck are you? Max here, the celeb talk guy, and yeah, that is it. Georgie, Darcy's new boyfriend, who we have now met several times on the Darcy and Stacy show, is actually still married. So here's the scoop. An episode or two ago, Darcy started to kind of tease that there was some huge, gigantic secret with Georgie, because if you don't remember, Georgie and Darcy have now been quarantining together, and like I said, she had has some big secret and she keeps kind of teasing it and, and pulling us in and suckering us in. And even me, who I cannot stand that show, I was still curious, what is this secret? Now, I made a comment, a speculation, uh, you know, a few videos ago saying, I bet you that Georgie is still married or maybe he is married, you know, whatever it was. And guess what? Dang, 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 that was it. Darcy came out and said that Georgie told her that number one, he got married to someone, and number two, they are still married. Now, she made it so dramatic. She made it seem so serious. She acted like it was like the end of her life. She was so dramatic. But then she said, However, he did also say that they are almost at the end of finalizing their divorce. So, I mean, come on. On Darcy, seriously, why do you have to be so unbelievably dramatic? Like, she teased this little secret of Georgie's like it was the end of the world. Like, he was like, you know, I don't even know, a con man or something just unbelievable that you would never believe. Well, come to find out, he is just married to a woman that he met a few years ago, and Georgie shared his side to the story, and he basically, really casually, he had no emotion whatsoever, he basically just said, yeah, I met this woman a few years ago, we ended up dating, we got married, and then after we got married, we started fighting, and then we got divorced, and that was it. So he would basically just admitted that it wasn't a big deal. And you want to know why I'm kind of honestly mad about this at Darcy and kind of the whole 90 Day Fiance crew is after Georgie explained the marriage, that he met this woman and this and that, he also said, I told Darcy when we first met in Miami that I was still married and finalizing my divorce. And Darcy stood there like, no, you did not. So, you know, it's, it's a he said, she said kind of a situation. Darcy was definitely kind of upset somewhat, but I ugh, I don't want you guys to hate me, but I think I'm actually going to pick Georgie's side in this situation because Darcy was acting like Georgie was cheating on her. Okay, no, he is not. He is divorced. He is like 99% through the way of getting, you know, through this divorce. It's a done deal. So for her to act like it's some heart-wrenching, horrible secret, it is, it's not at all. I mean, there's nothing to it. It's he was married, they're getting a divorce, and because of all the quarantine stuff at the time of filming, they could not finalize the divorce, and that was it. So you guys, put in the comments below. I mean, oh, so unbelievably stupid. I think that is the only drama and secret for Georgie. But the truth is, if I was Darcy, I would say one thing and one thing only to Georgie. I would just say, I'm not concerned that you are, you know, still technically legally married. What I'm concerned is, are you ready to jump back into a serious relationship with me? Because if you were still married, you know, it seems like we're moving pretty fast. And like I said, you were just married. And the other concern too is why did your marriage not work? Like that's what I would be asking Georgie. What really went wrong that made your marriage end? Because Georgie even said they were only together for not that long. And just like that, the marriage ended. So did something happen? Did he cheat? Did she cheat? Of course, Georgie did say we were fighting a lot, but come on, there likely should be more underneath the surface. And that is what I would be asking Georgie if I was Darcy, but more on them in a couple of minutes. What I also want to talk about is Stacy and Florian, because on last night's episode, Stacy and Florian told Darcy and Georgie that, hey, we got married. And, you know, of course, Darcy was devastated. She was so mad. She she was so sad. 
I don't care at all. I don't even, you know, I get it. Darcy, she probably maybe wanted to be there, but the truth is, the reality is, Darcy is incredibly jealous of Stacy and like everyone else, so likely, did she really want to be at the wedding? Probably not, but of course, she had to put on a big show that, oh my god, why didn't you invite me and dad and mom and everyone else? So boo-hoo, Darcy was all mad, but who really cares? And and Florian and Stacy, they were happy. They're moving on in their marriage and their relationship together until about five seconds later when Darcy pulled Stacy to the side and she pulled out her phone and said, hey Stace, here is this video I have of Florian with that woman that has been posting stuff on social media and it's a video and they are in her bedroom and it is not looking very good. So, you know, Stacy saw the video. She had the same emotion and reaction that ever everyone else would have, and I kind of somewhat sort of felt bad for her. So what did Stacy do? Stacy picked up, she, she ran into her car and left. They were at a park with Florian and Georgie and she literally packed up her stuff and left Florian there and just got out of there. So it was kind of funny. Um, she was devastated. She was just, you know, unbelievably mortified. She could not believe the video because if you watch the video, only one thing happened in the video. They weren't joking. They weren't playing around. You guys know what happened. And yeah, that's all that happened. So, I mean, come on. Stacy, she knew what went down. And that was pretty much the icing on the cake. Like always in all these reality shows, they just proved that, hey, Florian, he cheated and he lied about it. So Florian was just there like, what the, what happened? And honestly, I'm starting to not like Florian as much because at first I kind of thought, Florian was a go with the flow kind of a guy pretty calm, pretty mellow, pretty nice. But now, come on, he clearly cheated on her. He clearly lied about it. And now that he knows that, you know, Stacy is mad that he cheated and that she saw that video of them two together, Florian was, you know, going around pointing his finger at, at Darcy because he was saying, oh my God, Darcy's just trying to ruin our relationship because she's jealous. But, and, and that might be somewhat kind of true, maybe, but the reality is, and the actuality of this situation, just simply is you cheated Florian and you know of course Stacy is going to be upset now that she has seen real video proof. So Stacy was devastated. She got in her car, she stormed off, she left Florian and then one of the funniest things I have ever seen in this show happened. These people are just so stupid. What, what happened was Darcy told Florian, hey Florian I'll give you a ride back home, don't worry. And Florian was just sitting there with his head in his hands. He was devastated. He was crying. He was so upset. And then, of course, he wouldn't get in the car. You know, he would not get in Darcy's car because Darcy was like, you know, Florian, we're leaving. I'll give you a ride. Get in my car so we can leave. So Darcy was sitting there in the car. So was Georgie, her new man. And what does Georgie do? Georgie gets out of his car and he goes over to Florian. He puts his arm around Florian and says, hey, man, we're gonna, he goes, we're gonna make this happen. You know, you're gonna be okay. Hey, your relationship will be all right. I believe in you, man. He goes, let's just get up. And he puts his arm out there for Florian like they were, you know, best friends and like they've been best friends for the last 100 years. And Florian and Georgie just met each other about 25 minutes ago. So I was watching this thinking, you have to be so stupid and just dramatic. Like you're on a freaking soap opera to be Georgie. Now, I'm sure some of you guys are going to say, oh my God, Max, you are so rude and judgmental at Georgie because I bet a lot of you guys think what Georgie did, how he went over to Florian and put his arm around him and gave him a little pep talk was really sweet and nice and and sure it was kind of nice and I you know I don't know if it's genuine that's the thing is it really genuine to me it didn't seem genuine because he just met this guy about 25 minutes ago so they don't know each other they don't know anything about each other you know honestly Georgie he doesn't even know the situation so he's he's telling Florian stuff that you know you're gonna be fine and this and that and and Stacy she'll understand but you know Georgie you don't even know what went down so it was completely hilarious one of just my favorite moments from 
the last episode. I thought it was so funny because if you guys don't know, I love cheesy drama and that was just the cheesiest scene of them all. And next week on Darcy and Stacy, we are going to see Georgie meet up with her friends and oh my god, her family, yes, yes, yes. I believe Darcy is introducing her new man who she has now known just for a couple of weeks to her kids. Now, if Darcy was my mom and I was, you know, one of her kids, I would just say, no, no, no. After Jesse and after Tom and after every other man that she has dated in the past few years, I would refuse to meet another man until they have been dating for like years and years and years. And so if her kids do go forward and meet this Georgie man, oh, her kids are a lot nicer than me. And of course, we got to see in the preview that obviously Darcy's two friends, her only two friends, at first glance, they couldn't stand Georgie. They had, you know, curious little questions. They were calling him mysterious because I think that her friends are probably just digging and searching for some drama, for some dirt. But honestly, Georgie, he is pretty mysterious. Like the guy doesn't say anything. He's just like Florian. He keeps his mouth very shut. I had no idea that he was even married in general, you know, ever until he admitted it. So I didn't know that he was married. I didn't know he was still married. I didn't know anything about that. So that came at a shocker, you know, somewhat. So I think the guy is definitely somewhat mysterious. He is likely still holding things back. And I wouldn't be shocked if there's more to the story because whenever Georgie talks about himself, he keeps it very low key, very kind of secretive. So I don't blame her for friends for asking. And for Stacy and Florian, I don't have any idea what happens with them. To be completely honest, I believe they are still together. They're probably going to have some fighting to do. It's probably not going to be great, but clearly Florian, he did cheat. He got caught in the act and Stacy finally found out. Unfortunately, it was after she married him, but she did find out. I don't think she's going to leave him. I think they're going to talk out their differences. They'll probably do some yelling, some screaming, some crying, and in, in no time, they'll probably be perfectly happy and back together. So Darcy and Stacy, oh my God, the clock is ticking. This show is almost done. I think next week might possibly possibly be the last episode of this spin-off series, I believe. Don't quote me on that. And honestly, you guys, I'm not complaining because I am just sick and tired of seeing Darcy and Stacy and all their just BS drama. But with this show ending, that only means one thing. Me as a reality TV junkie, y'all already know, I need some new shows. I have been so bored, mainly on Tuesday nights. I've been really bored on Tuesdays, and I've been contemplating and I've been hearing from you guys that I should check out Teen Mom. I have watched Teen Mom years, I mean just years ago, back when it was like the original Teen Mom. I can't believe it's still going on. So I would be open to starting that show back again. I am extremely bored on Tuesday nights and then honestly kind of Thursday night too. Friday night we have Love After Lockup. Wednesday, Married at First Sight and Sunday and Monday is always some kind of a 90 Day Fiance thing. But, you know, Tuesday and Thursday, so if y'all got any recommendations, any shows I should either tape or rewatch, even in the Housewives series, you know, I do occasionally watch The Real Housewives of Potomac, but ugh, I'm so 50-50 on that show. Like, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, I can stand, I can stomach, I don't hate the show. But uh, Real Housewives of Potomac, it is very dramatic, and sometimes that is just kind of annoying. So if you guys have any reality TV shows you would suggest me to watch, please feel free to put in the comments below. Let me know what you think. What else should I be watching? Well, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. Hope you found it very entertaining and fun. And if you did find it fun, please feel free to tap that like button. Please, please, please feel free to share this video with your friends on Facebook or wherever else. And also, please feel free to comment and subscribe below. Well, guys, thank you all so much for watching and stay tuned for many more.